the driver first line up parallel to the box and make sure that the first cone which happens to be green in this case clears the that the rear bumper clears that green cone just like this then the driver backs up straight until the back wheel is lined up with that same green cone Just like this. Now it's time to do a hard ride. And then the driver backs up until that green cone is located midway between the front and the back wheel. A good way to go about it is to use the three cones that make the back of the box, purple, orange, and yellow as reference points. As soon as the driver sees that yellow cone in the flat mirror on the left hand side, then it's time to straighten up the wheels. And then back up some more with a particular focus on the wall and that same green cone. The driver doesn't want to go too far not to hit that wall. And the driver wants to make sure that that green cone is clear. You can use the uh, service door and the cross view mirror near the service door to know when you're about to clear. This is it. Now at one point, the driver needs to do a get out and look because you don't want to wait too long. You don't want to go too far back in that box. You don't want to hit that orange cone in the back. So right now would be a good time to do a get out and look. The pull-up that was just used, it, it was counted against the driver. It's still fine, but just keep in mind that the examiner counted as a pull-up. So use it only if you need it. That looks good. You did very well. So at this point, all needs to be done. The wheels are already straight in the front of the bus. If not, then the driver goes back, straighten up the wheels and blow the horn to tell the examiner that she is satisfied with the procedure.